there's two types of atheists. There's the atheist who uses their brain and looks at all the evidence and says, you know what, I don't believe that. And then there's the other type of atheist who doesn't use their brain whatsoever and just says, I don't believe in God because I was told in a science lesson. Well, 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 here we have another Christian who doesn't understand what atheism is. Again, like usual. I wonder what other stupid arguments he has to say. Let me guess. The earth is flat? It's you and Today we have a video from a street preacher who says he has arguments for atheists but really has questions for atheists. This is going to be a good video so you might want to share it on Facebook and Twitter. But let me say this before we get into the video. I've been seeing people say that my audio is a little bit off. I have been trying to fix this but the software isn't that good at doing this so please forgive me for the audio if it is a little bit unbalanced there's two types of atheists there's the atheist who uses their brain and looks at all the evidence and says you know what I don't believe that and then there's the other type of atheist who doesn't use their brain whatsoever and just says I don't believe in God because I was told in a science lesson how does he know this most atheists seem to come to conclusions that a god may not exist because there is no scientific evidence that a god can exist. I can explain why I just said what I just said by stating the fact that science only proves what is natural. A god, however, is identified as a supernatural entity, and science does not deal with supernatural entities. It only deals with natural entities. I talked about this in one of my other videos. Is the word God a proper noun? Link in the description below. So what type of atheist are you? I've got some questions. If you'd like to answer them, then go ahead. Okay. First question is this. Now, very simple for the atheist going by. Very simple question. Can you do maths now? What is zero plus zero? So if you're an atheist going by, can anyone answer this question for me? What is zero plus zero? Can anyone work that out for me? Zero plus zero equals zero. There. I've answered your question. No need for a supernatural entity with no explanation in real life. It's zero, isn't it, okay? So we know that naught plus naught equals naught. So how can you say if there is no God, in the beginning there was nothing there, there was no designer, no creator, so how do we get a universe from nothing? We can't do it, can we? We can't get a universe from nothing. Next thing about this, okay? Actually, we already did get a universe from nothing in a colloquial sense. So saying that we can't get a universe from nothing in a colloquial sense is kind of a non-starter. The reason to why this is, is because the colloquial sense of nothing is not nothing. There is still matter in the colloquial sense of nothing. Uh, imagine now we hear a bang on the other side of that building, okay? Imagine we hear a really big loud bang on the other side of that building. And you say to me, you say, hey Joe, how did that bang so? Where did that bang come from? And I say, oh I don't know, maybe a, a gun went off, uh, maybe a piano fell off the building, but something must have caused that bang. Well how can you say, for those of you who say you believe in the big bang, I don't personally believe in the big bang, those who say you believe in the Big Bang, where was the energy source? What caused it? Well, first off, the Big Bang was not a bang. There was no noise. It was just an expansion event that included the basic elements to make up atoms. As for the question, the question is not the right question. It should be how did the Big Bang happen, not where did the something come from to cause it to happen. From what we know, Scientifically, there is no where in the equation. And yes, you have to use science to determine how the Big Bang happened, not religion. 
Here's the next question. Now, this is a question for you. If you're an atheist, if you'd like to chip in at any point, if you'd like to answer that, then please answer this question. Why do we have morals? Let me put it another way to you, okay? How do you know that racism is wrong? So if you're an atheist going by, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a, a question. How do you know that racism is wrong? We have morals because we don't want to be treated wrongfully. As for where those morals came from, which is what I'm thinking you're leading to, they came from us, not a god. And racism is one of those things that is wrong because it treats others wrongfully. We decide morals on our own, not a god, because they're is no evidence to prove that a god exists or can exist. Now don't just say in your mind, oh of course it's wrong, right? How do you know it's wrong? Well some of you might say, well, you know, racism makes one person feel really horrible, so if I'm racist to that person, it makes them feel bad, so we want to look after each other in society. But what if the other person says that racism makes them feel good? Who's right and who's wrong? Who gets a better standard is one more important than the other? That's just be it so you know, I do believe racism is wrong. The next thing is this. What if you say, okay, well, racism's wrong because society says it's wrong. Well, what about 100 years ago in Nazi Germany, where there was a society that came together and said, let's kill Jews, that's the right, correct thing to do. You see, we can't say that it's wrong because of society. We can't say it's wrong because of the individual. Do you know how we say it's wrong? The Bible says that God has written the law upon our hearts by giving us all a conscience. Of course it's evil to be racist. Of course it's evil to murder. Of course it's evil to do these things. We know that's wrong because God has given us a conscience. Unless you are a doctor who has removed a heart before and you have pareidolia, you should know that there is no words written on the human heart. And actually, to be honest with you, doctors know there is no words written on the human heart because there can't be, couldn't have physically gone into our bodies and written anything without killing us. Well, that's the end of my video. This video is in the link in the description. So, rate, comment, and subscribe, and click on the bell icon to get notifications. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to donate to me, my Patreon is in the link in the description. So, thank you, and peace out.